Blue Origin thought they had the upper hand. But SpaceX just pulled off something incredible in Florida. While Blue Origin was busy with their secret fuel transporter, SpaceX quietly built a monster facility, 380 feet tall, 11 times bigger than Starbase. The kicker? They're targeting 44 launches per year from Florida alone. That's nearly one launch every week. But here's the twist nobody expected. Let's dive right in. The Hidden War Behind the Moon Race Here's what really happened. While everyone was watching Blue Origin's fancy presentations about their fuel transporter, SpaceX was executing a master plan that would make even Elon Musk smile. The Florida gamble that changed everything. March 3rd, 2025. SpaceX drops a single announcement that sends shockwaves through the industry. First Florida Starship launch. Late 2025. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. This wasn't just another launch announcement. This was SpaceX declaring war on the traditional space timeline. And Blue Origin? They had no idea what was coming. But here's where it gets interesting. Blue Origin had been betting everything on their secret weapon. A sophisticated fuel transporter capable of hauling 100 metric tons to lunar orbit. They thought complexity would win the race. SpaceX had a different idea entirely. While Blue Origin's engineers were perfecting their T-shaped masterpiece, SpaceX was building something that would make their competitors question everything they thought they knew about space manufacturing. The monster that Blue Origin never saw coming. The Gigabay facility isn't just big. It's a manufacturing beast that redefines what's possible. 380 feet tall, 46.5 million cubic feet of interior space. You could fit the entire Statue of Liberty inside this thing, sideways. But size isn't the scary part. It's what happens inside those walls that should terrify the competition. 24 simultaneous workstations. Think about that for a moment. While Blue Origin focuses on crafting one perfect fuel transporter, SpaceX is preparing to build starships like Toyota builds cars. Mass production meets rocket science. And the target? 44 launches per year from Florida alone? That's not just ambitious, that's potentially industry-ending for anyone who can't keep up. But wait, there's more Blue Origin didn't expect. The technical reality that nobody talks about. Now, here's where Blue Origin's approach reveals a dangerous weakness. Their fuel transporter sounds incredible on paper. Liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees Celsius. Liquid oxygen at minus 183 degrees Celsius. Complex zero boil-off systems that would make any engineer proud. But there's a problem nobody wants to discuss. Cryogenic fuel storage in space isn't just about keeping things cold. It's about keeping them cold for weeks, maybe months, while traveling from Earth orbit to lunar orbit. One system failure, one tiny leak, and your entire mission becomes an expensive ice cube floating in space. What happens then? SpaceX's approach? Brute force reliability. Build so many starships that if one fails, two more are ready to launch. It's the difference between crafting a Swiss watch and manufacturing Ford trucks. Both work, but only one can win a war of numbers. And Blue Origin is about to learn this lesson the hard way. The underwater secret that reveals everything, but Blue Origin isn't surrendering without a fight. Their recent underwater tests at NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab reveal something crucial about their strategy. They're preparing for crewed missions with surgical precision. Divers in weighted spacesuits, full-scale mock-ups, emergency procedures practiced over and over. Blue Origin is betting that when astronauts finally land on the moon, their system will be the one that brings them home safely. It's the tortoise and hare story, except the tortoise carries human lives. Yet something doesn't add up. While Blue Origin perfects their underwater ballet, SpaceX is already stacking launch towers at LC-39A. The orbital launch mount is taking shape. The flame trench is being carved from floor to bedrock. Two companies, two completely different philosophies, but only one can reach the moon first. The infrastructure war, nobody expected. Here's what changes everything. While everyone debates fuel transporters and launch schedules, the real battle is happening in concrete and steel. SpaceX isn't just building rockets, they're building an empire. LC-39A already has its launch tower standing tall. SLC-37 is in development. 
Every piece of infrastructure is modeled after the successful Pad B design at Starbase. But here's what makes this terrifying for competitors. SpaceX now has the experience. Remember Starbase's Pad B? It went from basic construction to structural completion in just months. Every lesson learned, every mistake avoided, every process streamlined. That learning curve is now accelerating everything in Florida. Blue Origin, meanwhile, is still assembling their first Mark I lander at their Florida facility. One lander, ready in six weeks. Then off to Johnson Space Center for thermal vacuum testing. See the difference? SpaceX is building infrastructure for hundreds of missions. Blue Origin is carefully crafting individual spacecraft. One approach scales, the other doesn't. The timeline that breaks all the rules. This is where the story gets absolutely wild. SpaceX claims they'll launch from Florida by late 2025. Industry experts called it impossible. The infrastructure isn't ready, they said. The environmental reviews aren't complete, they argued. But what if they're right? What if SpaceX actually pulls this off? Artemis 3 is scheduled for mid-2027. That gives SpaceX exactly 18 months to prove their orbital refueling system works. 18 months to demonstrate they can land humans on the moon and bring them back. 18 months to validate everything. Blue Origin's timeline? Their first Mark I mission happens this year. Maybe. Their crewed missions happen before the end of the decade, possibly. One company is racing against a specific deadline. The other is building toward a general time frame. Which approach wins when NASA needs results yesterday? The manufacturing revolution that changes everything. Here's the part that Blue Origin never saw coming. SpaceX's manufacturing revolution wasn't just about rockets. It was about changing how space companies think about production entirely. Traditional aerospace builds one-off custom vehicles. Each spacecraft is a masterpiece, beautiful, expensive, irreplaceable. SpaceX builds fleets. When your Gigabay facility can house 24 starships simultaneously, you're not just making rockets faster, you're making failure less catastrophic. Blue Origin's fuel transporter is incredible technology. Absolutely revolutionary. But it's still single point of failure technology. One transporter breaks, one mission fail. SpaceX's approach creates redundancy through volume. And here's the kicker that should keep Blue Origin's executives awake at night. That same Gigabay design philosophy could work for fuel transporters too. If SpaceX wanted to build their own version of Blue Origin's system, they could probably manufacture 10 of them in the time Blue Origin builds one. The philosophy war that determines everything. So what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? When mass production meets precision engineering? When SpaceX's quantity faces Blue Origin's quality? The answer might surprise you. Because while these companies appear to be bitter competitors, they're actually solving different parts of the same impossible problem. SpaceX excels at getting to space efficiently and repeatedly. Blue Origin specializes in complex operations once you're already there. Both approaches have merit. Both companies have brilliant engineers. Both are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But here's the twist that could change everything. The winner might not be determined by who builds the better system. It might be determined by who can adapt their system faster when something inevitably goes wrong. SpaceX has proven they can iterate rapidly, fail fast, improve quickly, blow things up, and learn from the explosion. Blue Origin has proven they can engineer solutions that work perfectly the first time. No explosions, no failures, no second chances needed. In the unforgiving environment of space, which philosophy will ultimately prevail? The stakes that nobody understands. This isn't just about reaching the moon anymore. The race between SpaceX and Blue Origin is determining how humanity will explore space for the next 50 years. Mass production versus precision crafting, speed versus safety, quantity versus quality. And Florida? Florida is where this war will be won or lost. SpaceX's 44 launches per year target isn't just a number, it's a statement. It's saying we can make space travel routine, boring, predictable. Blue Origin's approach is saying space travel should remain special, careful, perfect. Two visions of humanity's future among the stars, but only one company can be right. So here's what Blue Origin never expected. 
SpaceX didn't just build a bigger facility in Florida. They built a completely different future. One where space travel becomes as routine as catching a flight to Vegas. But here's the real question. What happens when these two philosophies collide on the lunar surface? When SpaceX's mass-produced starships meet Blue Origin's precision-crafted landers, who wins? The answer might not be what you think. Because maybe, just maybe, we need both approaches to succeed. SpaceX gets us there fast and cheap. Blue Origin brings us home safely. And that changes everything about how we think about space exploration. What do you think? Are we witnessing the birth of two complementary space empires? Or is this a winner-take-all battle that will define humanity's future among the stars? Drop your thoughts below. And if you're as fascinated by this space race as we are, there's a lot more coming. The moon is just the beginning.